Yes, I'm on it with you. That is true. If you keep you on your toes, I'm gonna take it on the next slide. Just, just like I used to do, just like I used to do in all the camera things.
sure you want to do that. It's only going to be in about a minute. What? You sure you want to do that? It's like 50 seconds long. Which one is it? Word pipe. Word pipe will be now, and then I think they'll run the announcement after we're done with word pipe. So. And then have circumstance ready to go. Welcome uh, to St. Vincent College's well. commencement. Please listen to the following message. In accordance with the fire code, please keep the aisles and exits clear at all times. In an emergency, contact a staff member located throughout the arena. Public safety is on site if needed. If asked to exit the arena, proceed to the nearest exit. Please take a moment to locate the closest exit. During the ceremony, as a courtesy to all, please silence your cell phone and remain in your seat throughout the event. Families and friends want to hear their graduate's name announced, so please refrain from using air horns or noisemakers during the ceremony. Following the ceremony, please remain at your seat until all graduates have exited. Thank you and congratulations to our graduates. <laughs>
candidates for degrees of honored guests, parents, family, alumni, and friends, on behalf of St. Vincent College, welcome to commencement. My name is John Delaney and I serve as Vice President for Academic Affairs. It's my privilege to welcome you to this celebration. Although we are sad to give up our graduates, we're very proud of them and all their accomplishments. We welcome their family and friends from places as far away as China. We thank you for entrusting us with your children. At this time, I ask gentlemen to remove their caps and for all to remain standing for the national anthem, followed by an invocation delivered by our chancellor, Father Arch Abbot Martin Bartle of the Order of St. Benedict. After the invocation, you may be seated and gentlemen may replace their caps. Oh, say, can you see Paradise and Elad? What so proudly we hailed At the twilight's last gleaming Who brought stripes and bright stars To the perilous side For the ramparts we Let us pray. Heavenly Father, this is the day you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the culmination of years of work, years filled with challenges and triumphs, losses and laughter, friendships and growth. We thank you, God, for getting us to this day. We thank you for the gift of family, friends, and teachers who have supported these, your sons and daughters, and celebrate with them now. Bless these graduates, everyone, and fill them with the spirit of your love. We pray, Father, that, that as they go forth to set the world on fire, may they remember your presence in all things and in all peoples. May they continue to challenge themselves intellectually and share the fruit of their knowledge. May their commitment to justice lead them to make a positive difference in our world and transform it more into what you created it to be. May they build Benedictine community wherever they go and remain forever the important part of our community that they are today. And may they, through their ongoing growth in wisdom and grace, bring others to you as they share their talents in the wider world. We ask you, O oh God, to protect and guide these women and men throughout their lives. We ask this in the name of your Son, Jesus, in whose image we were made 
and who unites us with one another and with you forever. Amen. It is my privilege to introduce Father Paul R. Taylor of the Order of St. Benedict, President of St. Vincent College, to confer today's honorary degree to Mr. William E. Strickland, Jr. Father Paul will be assisted by Ms. Kimberly B. M. Colonna, Vice Chair of our Board of Directors. As Father Paul comes to the podium, I ask Ms. Colonna to escort William Strickland to right center stage for the reading of the degree citation. Thank you, Dr. Delaney and welcome all to this joyous celebration. In granting honorary degrees, St. Vincent College recognizes distinguished individuals whose life work represents the values, knowledge, and accomplishments that are embodied in the mission of St. Vincent College. Today, we honor an exceptional man who has created a model that brings better lives to many people. Bill, from your roots on the north side of Pittsburgh, you became a Pittsburgh icon. You started out, in your words, as an inner city public school kid who didn't do well academically. Although your sixth grade teacher, Mrs. <laughs> Sis Dupre, would probably have argued that, and she saw your wisdom even back then. You got lucky when an art teacher, though, captured your interest and pushed you to go to college. You told people that, mainly to get him off my back, I filled out an application in pencil, flung, flung to the SAT test, and got into the University of Pittsburgh on probation. From there, though, you thrived. You did so by teaching, training people, and telling a compelling story for over 50 years. Your curiosity led you to be an artist, an airline pilot, a builder, and more importantly, a neighborhood-focused entrepreneur whose goal was to make life better for others. You founded the Manchester Craftsman's Guild and the Bidwell Training Center growing them from ideas into world-renowned training programs. Your work is rooted in your belief that, quote, people are born in the world as assets, not liabilities, and environment drives behavior, finish quote. Your work is designed around those principles, and that has allowed you, like a great artist, to take pictures in your head and to make them real. For many, you carried a, for many years, you carried a slide projector, projector and a box of slides around the country to secure support for your venture. People responded favorably. While you never sought awards or publicity, the success of your venture and the people it helped brought a MacArthur Genius Award, the key to the city of Pittsburgh, and a meeting with the Dalai Lama at the Monastery of St. Benedict. Your work has been imitated around the world, and all your efforts reflect the title of your book, Make the Impossible Possible. William E. Strickland, Jr., Bill by the authority vested in me by the Board of Directors and the faculty of St. Vincent College, I am proud to confer upon you 
the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters honoris causa on this 13th day of May, 2023. I'm not sure I could add to what Father has just described. Uh, in fact, I contemplated hiring him as my publicist uh, in future ventures. Uh, I have some written uh, comments. The good news is they're, they're not very long, uh, which usually thrills the undergraduates. Um, I had to suffer through a speech by Bill Clinton that went on for 90 minutes. Uh, I'm not Bill Clinton. Uh, if prepared speeches were gonna save us, I believe we would have arrived at the promised land some time ago. Uh, I'm honored to be here. I'd like to say good morning to the trustees and students at St. Vincent's College. I am, as you've already discovered, Bill Strickland, and I'm very honored to have been selected to give your commencement address this morning. I am executive chairman and founder of Manchester Bidwell Corporation, a center for arts and vocational education founded in 1968 during the race riots of that year. My community was quite literally in flames. There was substantial violence, both nationally and locally, particularly experienced in my community of Pittsburgh during this period. I believe my calling was turned out to be an effort to try and contribute to making a difference in the lives of people viewed as liabilities rather than assets in their community. The center that I took over during that period experienced significant tax challenges. In other words, my predecessor had taken all the withholding money and left the students for dead. I decided that was not gonna be the end of the story. So I was able to convince several private and corporate foundations to contribute financially to its reconstruction and therefore provided the opportunity to become a successful center for today. Today, that center is thriving, teaching vocational and arts education with an 85% graduation rate and an 80% successful job placement rate for people who were given up as dead. In the old days, we were a building trades program, teach carpentry and bricklaying and so forth. And um, a fellow named John Hines showed up. He was a, did pretty good in the ketchup business. And um, he came to see me. And he said, I understand that you're training uh, people for the building trades. I said, yes, sir, I am. He said, well, why don't you train some people for the food industry? I said, well, I'm in the building trades. I don't know anything about food. He said, well, what would your answer be if I said I'd give you a million dollars? I said, Senator, it appears that we're going into the food training business. <laughs> <laughs> and, and John did give him a million bucks. And he loaned me the head of research for the Heinz Ketchup Company. And for the last 25 years, we have a 90% placement rate for people in the culinary industry, thanks 
to Senator Hines. These days we do medical records and medical assistance training. The net training cost of working with this population is less than $25,000 per year. The graduates repay the initial cost of training free to them. Within 36 months, their taxable employment earnings pay off the cost of incarceration, for example, in Pennsylvania. You know what it costs in Pennsylvania to keep people locked up? $40,000 a year. For 19, I have them working and they pay back the investment in 36 months. I've met, <laughs> I met the professor who teaches business and professor, uh, that's called return on investment, ROI. There is nothing wrong with people that affection and good food can't cure. We are at the point of demonstrating that it is more cost effective to provide a quality vocational education experience as to the cost of locking people up in prison. That's not working. This is working. At this point, I would like to give a shout out to a man who has become my hero. His name is Jeff Mowry, no stranger to this school. His life best represents what I believe in. Persistence, determination, pride. He shared with me over the years his extraordinary ability to insist on hope when there wasn't any. And if there was one man who symbolizes the spirit of this place, it's Jeff Mowry. He has become a leader in St. Vincent's community and of the region. It is because of his life that I actually agreed to do this presentation. I would also like to acknowledge the Benedictine Order because in my view, their work at St. Vincent's College and the value proposition directly affected my commitment to economic justice and racial equality. The spirit and commitment of these priests and monks at St. Vincent's illustrates a set of guiding principles in terms of how they manage their personal and professional commitment to excellence. When I was a high school student, and I actually was, um, and it more remarkably, I graduated from high school. Uh, as Father mentioned, I got into the University of Pittsburgh on probation because they had something called the Scholastic Aptitude Test, and they put this test in front of me, and it might have well have been in Greek. It was multiple choices, I recall back then, so I kind of marked the thing up, flunked the test. But they sent me an application and said, you, uh, we're going to let you in this place on probation, academic probation. Well, the better news is I graduated from the place. Uh, they made me an emeritus trustee, and I was the commencement speaker, as I am today. And the speech was, don't give up on the poor kids. They might end up being the commencement speaker. <laughs> the project that I was working on was mentored and sustained by the priests of this place. I spent a day at the monk's residence and was invited to attend Vespers at the chapel that evening. I discovered the architect Tasso Katsellas, who built the residence for the monks, as I recall. And what fascinated me was the architect and his sense for life and compassion and light, L-I-G-H-T. So I found out later he'd built a very famous house called Falling Water. So here's Mr. Ross, he's got these black kids in his van, 
and you get down through the woods and there's this creek sitting right up on the top of this boulder and a creek running right through the house. And I said, in my neighborhood, we spend time to, trying to keep the water out of the house. <laughs> this guy's got a creek running right down through the middle of the place. That's an interesting way of looking at water. But the other thing that fascinated me was the quality of the light that enveloped that house. And I said, if I can get that light into my neighborhood, I'm halfway home. So Pittsburgh Airport was, my center was the scale model for the Pittsburgh Airport. So it's become iconic. And because of the monks who captured my heart, I think I had um, what they call a religious moment. I was so overcome with the affection of these priests who welcomed in an African-American kid with a camera he bought, bought, bought from the pawn shop. Uh, but their music and their spirit literally transformed my life. I would like to suggest to each of you that you recognize these monks for their faith and the way in which they have conducted their lives. My plan is to continue to represent the spirit of this school in my work for as many years that God has given me. This speech is not for entertainment. I came here to recruit you. And what I mean by that is those of you who are specializing in education and psychology the world needs what you have now been trained to do big time. We're suffering in our country. Too much anger, too much hate. It has to stop. And so I am suggesting that we need your skills and we need your heart. I was offered a very prestigious award called, as Father mentioned, the MacArthur Genius Award because I had discovered the cure for cancer of the human spirit. That discovery is called hope and light. I believe that that experience at St. Vincent's literally changed the trajectory of my life, particularly because it applied to the way in which I saw spirit. I saw that spirit this morning. I revisited it again in the lobby of St. Vincent's with the board and the members of the faculty and the priests who once again welcomed me with that same spirit and determination. You converted me again. My plan is to build centers like the one in Pittsburgh, and we have now established 10 centers, six of which are in Pennsylvania, and communities like Erie, Sharon, Brockway, and here in Westmoreland County, we just opened one called the Laurel Valley Center for Arts and Technology. We have centers now in Buffalo, New York, Chicago, Illinois, Grand Rapids, Michigan, New Haven, Connecticut, Boston, Massachusetts, and internationally, I built a center in Northern Israel for the Jews and the Arabs, and it's still thriving today. Puerto Rico is open, and I just came back from Belfast, Ireland, where we are beginning the early work of building a center there for Protestants and Catholics. If I can pull this off in Israel for the Jews and the Catholics and Israel and the Christians, the Irish have no excuse. <laughs> These centers are an expression of commitment to the brothers of St. Vincent's, to their faith. My plan is to continue to represent that spirit in the work that I do and I would like to say to you, you the graduates, 
that I hope that your spirit and what I feel in this room today will transform the way in which people see themselves in the world. Your families are a great le legacy because none of you got here by yourself. There were people in your families who believed in you, sometimes when you didn't believe in yourself. And so I would like to thank all of you, the families, for guiding your children to a life of hope and possibility. That did not come by accident. That be came because you believe in your children. And if we can get our country believing in its children again, I think we're on our way. Our, our way. Now, I would like to close this very brief presentation by a confession. Uh, I'm a survivor of a double lung transplant. Uh, I was um, pretty sick. And I um, received the gift of two new lungs seven years ago. The doc, who was the principal lead in my surgery, said, I'm a physician, so you can take this for what it's worth. I did not save you. God saved you. I saw light in that operating room as sure as I'm standing here listening and seeing you today. I was honored to be able to restore you to health. I believe that that light experienced in that chapel in 1965 was present in that operating room and guided that physician to bring me back into the world. And as Father mentions, I did meet His Holiness, the Dalai Lama. And I told him my story. And His Holiness said, you were kept here for a reason. And I believe your spirit joined with my spirit may be what the world needs to see a lot more of. So he blessed a prayer cloth for me and put it around my neck. His words and my words are now installed in the Benedictine Chapel uh, in uh, Wadzell, Austria. So here's this African-American kid who's now hanging out with the Dalai Lama, uh, flying jets for a living, and reminding all of you, you should celebrate these priests. These men who affected me so deeply, I believe what they are sacrificing their life for is what may bring our country back to health. These monks get it. And not only do they get it, they're prepared to spend their life in the elevation of something they call faith. It's easy for me to talk about faith um, it's a lot different if you believe in faith seven days of the week for the rest of your lives. To me, that is called heroicism. And I am convinced that had it not been for that God moment that brought me to St. Vincent's back then and today, I wouldn't be giving this speech. You have to believe in yourselves. I believe in you, and I believe that your parents believe in you. And I have committed to making this a movement of the elevation of the human spirit and the Holy Spirit. And so on this very Pittsburgh day, there is light shining in this room. You know who it's from? Your eyes. Your eyes are glowing with the spirit 
that these monks were chained, trained to provide. And I'm with you for this life and a part of the next one. And as Shimon Perez said to me, you have been blessed. So Father, I would like you to pray for me because I have been asked by God to not run away from trouble, but to run towards it. And so I will need your prayers and your affection and your love. And to the board and the trustees, God bless you for what you do. Uh, thank you for allowing me to open up my heart uh, on this Pittsburgh afternoon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Bill, not only for your inspiring words, but for the incredible example that you have shown throughout your life. We are proud to make you an honorary St. Vincent alumnus today because you are a living example of the Benedictine hallmarks. Now is the time everyone has been waiting for. We will present our 2023 graduates for individual recognition. Graduates' names will be read by the dean of their school. To start, I ask Dr. Michael Urick, dean of the Alex G. McKenna School of Business, Economics, and Government, to come forward to present the graduates of the McKenna School. I also ask Mr. Robert Markley and Dr. Kayla Jakimowski to come forward to assist in the hooding of the students who receive graduate degrees. I am pleased to announce the May 2023 McKenna School graduates. MS in Criminology, Austin Joseph Carson, summa cum laude. Abigail Rowe, summa cum laude. MS in Management Operational Excellence, Joshua Robert Howell, magna cum laude. B.S. in Accounting, Anthony James Kinsilla, summa cum laude. <laughs> Kenzie Elena Bird, magna cum laude. <laughs> Emmy Lee Sykins. Magna cum laude. <laughs> Hannah Marie Hobrick, 
summa cum laude. Emily Fultz. Allison Renee Moret, summa cum laude. Julia Elizabeth Sarnowski, summa cum laude. Broderick Hudson McMahon. Andrew James Kahalik. Cameron James Hyde. Magna cum laude. Devin Michael Gleason. Nathan Donnelly Boland. BS in Business Administration, Brendan Raymond Teal, magna cum laude. BS in Business Data Analytics, Connor Keating. Zachary Paul Von Steen. Antonio Dominic Ferraro Jr. Summa cum laude. Isaac Andrew Little, cum laude. B.S. in Business Economics, Frankie Raymond Jr. Custler. B.A. Criminology, Law, and Society, Caleb Daniel Green, magna cum laude. Trent Xavier Stevens. Jordan Kenneth Billet. Emerson Theodore Long. Dalton Rydell. <laughs> Dalton Anderson. <laughs> Shane Giovanni Stone.
Anthony Joseph Tagliati. Brittany Lynn Prinky, magnum cum laude. Allison Grace Foster. Sean Jeffrey Sosnack. Michael Joseph Polak, cum laude. <laughs> BS in economics, mathematics. Hao Yu Wong. BS Finance, Andrew Michael Coons, cum laude. <laughs> Michael Scott Visnich. Evan Michael Ray, summa cum laude. Justina Marie Saroman, summa cum laude. Sanaida Marie Luna. Colton James McCutcheon, magna cum laude. Tristan Nathaniel Moyer, magna cum laude. Paul James Reagan, Summa cum laude. BS Finance and Mathematics, Anna Grace Ferrier. BS Management, Thaddeus Maida. Alex James Leggy. Alexander Knox. Carly Marie Augustine, cum laude. Augustin Berke Fronin, cum laude. Mark Jason Banner, Jr. Stephen James Andre Karavich.
Troy Rollin Montgomery. Connor Lenhart. Congratulations. Anna Marie Tatham. Dominic Anthony Ferranti. Thomas Edward Haikowski. Edmund Zuzak. Ahmad Shah. David Shelnut. <laughs> Haley May Canada, cum laude. <laughs> Isabella Marie Eli. Autumn Page Fennel. Congratulations. Teresa Rose Bosco. Congratulations. Erica Elizabeth Steele. Kayla Marie Klink. Okay. Thank you. Congratulations. BS in Marketing. Vincent Arthur Esposito. Congratulations. Mitchell John Connect. Marie Ann Matt. Congratulations. Kevin Anthony Childress. Congratulations. Cody Dion Johnson. Madeline Marie Gira, cum laude. Congratulations. Jessica Marie Rainey. Congratulations. Emma Catherine Reaping. Georgian Claire Vona, cum laude. Sean Michael Nip. Congratulations. 
Nicholas Anthony Navarro. B.S. Political Science, Noah Christopher Spira. <laughs> B.S. Public Policy Analysis, Michael Winter Gates. Please join me in congratulating the most recent St. Vincent McKenna School alumni. Thank you, Dr. Urich. Graduates of the Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics and Computing will be introduced by their Dean, Dr. Stephen Jodas. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry. Sarah Page Basala, magna cum laude. Anna Lorraine Pavsek, summa cum laude. Amanda Marie Serapilia, magna cum laude. Finnegan Kuhn Dobash. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Biology. Nicola DePaul, cum laude. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Biology, Matthew Francis Callaghan. Christopher Carberry Bush. Christopher Michael Boyer. Jonathan Baum. Estefany Sierra Cisneros, cum laude. Sarah Marie Helsel, summa cum laude. Ava Jolene Dorazio, summa cum laude. Anna Lee Rufel Shields, summa cum laude. Olivia Marie Emmons, cum laude. Jessica Lynn Person, magna cum laude.
Mackenzie Ann Moretti, cum laude. Lindsay Jane Kojancic, summa cum laude. Emily Michelle Lentz, summa cum laude. Lauren Ann Makovics, cum laude. Claire Louise Mulcahy, summa cum laude. Kari Sky Fenner. Kareen Harley Soltis, cum laude. Haley Darlene Smolik, magna cum laude. <laughs> Jacob Joseph Cristani, magna cum laude. Ryan William Patricio. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Chemistry. Ruth Adele Milne, summa cum laude. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Computer Science. Jacob Thomas Lasco, cum laude. <laughs> Callum Patrick Babs. Jacob Charles Visali. <laughs> Philip Edward Pavlik, cum laude. <laughs> Anthony Joseph Pouliot, cum laude. Andrew William, William Hoffer. <laughs> Curtis Michael Schrack. <laughs> Sarah Faye Kudrick. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity. Cameron Philip Close, magna cum laude. Samuel Wolf Butler. Anthony Boldurian, cum laude.
Cameron Joseph Cox, magna cum laude. Nicholas Owen Downey, cum laude. Cassidy Christine Hartle, cum laude. Keaton Davis Hallobah. Samuel Arthur Merlin. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Matthew Stanley Byrne, cum laude. Sasha Sindrick. <laughs> Lionel Angel Cuello. Thomas Edward Hitchpeth II. Kara Grace Llewellyn, cum laude. Noah Robert Scollard. Christopher Smith. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Environmental Science, Sarah Catherine O'Toole, magna cum laude. Mackenzie Marie Costanza Buffon. McKenna Marie Costanza Buffon. Zach Scott Houston. Mason James Brunson. Shane Austin Piper. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Health Science, Matthew Cassidy. <laughs> Caroline Mullenix, magna cum laude.
The following student is receiving the Bachelor of Science in Information Systems, Jeremy Capella. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Integrated Science, Tyler James Christ, cum laude. <laughs> Francesca Isabella Flory. Cameron Xavier Hill. Amanda Elizabeth Pugliano, magna cum laude. Kara Garland, magna cum laude. Monica Catherine Gorley, cum laude. <laughs> Mallory McKenna Halleck, cum laude. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Arts in Math Engineering, Salvatore Eusarian Zuber, magna cum laude. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Mathematics, Emily Page Boucher, summa cum laude. Joshua William Hoffman. Reed Mark Hips, magna cum laude. Alec Laspina. Catherine Anna Cozy, cum laude. <laughs> Emma Grace Pyro, cum laude. <laughs> Abigail Ann Schwartz. The following students are receiving the Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Nicole Abrams, cum laude. <laughs> Taylor Michaels Timko. Madison Marie Mostaller, cum laude. <laughs> Taylor Crouch, cum laude. <laughs> Sarah Lucas, cum laude.
Ella K. Marconi, magna cum laude. Andrew Joseph Howe, cum laude. Austin Alexander Kemp, magna cum laude. Ella DeFolvio, magna cum laude. Sarah Elizabeth Pasco, magna cum laude. Abby Jo Horchacek. Caroline Marie Hopkins, cum laude. <laughs> Melanie Lynn Jablonski, cum laude. Abby Jo Stoll, magna cum laude. Sydney Mizikar, cum laude. Nicole Raylin Frenchu, summa cum laude. <laughs> Suki Savannah Rodin, magna cum laude. Shaylin Rose Trosel, cum laude. <laughs> Megan Zimmerman, cum laude. Kira Lynn Pacey, magna cum laude. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural... Oh, one more. I'm sorry. <laughs> the following student is receiving the Bachelor of Science in Physics. Seth White, summa cum laude. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the Herbert W. Boyer School of Natural Sciences, Mathematics, and Computing.
Thank you, Dr. Jodas. I now ask Dr. Elaine Bennett, Dean of the School of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences, to come to the podium to announce the names of students graduating from Arts, Humanities, and Social Science. I also ask Dr. Kathy Bining, Director of the Pre-K to 12th Grade Education Programs, and Ms. Michaela McMullen, Coordinator of Experiential Learning and Teacher Education, to come forward to help hood the candidates for graduate degrees. Receiving a Master of Science in Curriculum and Instruction, Brie Ann Pradanovich, summa cum laude. Rebecca Tassoni, summa cum laude. <laughs> Nicholas Alfred DiFrancesco, cum laude. Taylor Page Berardi, summa cum laude. Receiving the Master of Science in Instructional Design and Technology, Catherine Elizabeth Votovich, summa cum laude. Bachelor of Arts in Anthropology, Kelsey Renee Patton, summa cum laude. <laughs> Madeline Marie Thompson, cum laude. Bachelor of Arts in Communication, Sarah Mott. Lillian Joan Lacona. Bethany Jordan Fritsch, summa cum laude. <laughs> Veronica Lillian Cornejo. Genevieve Marie LaFosse, summa cum laude.
Hannah Alexis Knoll, cum laude. Austin James Nicely. Victoria Claire Viola, summa cum laude. Bailey Wojcik, summa cum laude. William Joseph Raiden. Brandon William Halleck. <laughs> Dwight Vernon Collins, Jr. Isaiah McElroy. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Digital Art and Media, Keegan Ann Bird. Carly Mae Bodner, magna cum laude. <laughs> Miriam Moira Donovan, summa cum laude. <laughs> Bachelor of Science in Early Childhood Education. Colleen Elizabeth Ankney, cum laude. <laughs> Abigail Elizabeth Brainin, cum laude. <laughs> Elise Maria Debro, magna cum laude. Lauren Christine Connors, magna cum laude. Julia Ann Makita, cum laude. Kylie Nicole Albertson. Anna Elizabeth Betts, cum laude. Catherine Marie Sr., magna cum laude. <laughs> Madison Elena Marsico, summa cum laude.
Marcella Marie Smith, summa cum laude. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in English, Elizabeth Ann Elin, summa cum laude. Kaylee Ann Harvey, cum laude. <laughs> Mackenzie Knott, summa cum laude. Clay Daniel Trimble, cum laude. Angel Dominique Scalamonga, cum laude. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in History, Jocelyn Rachel Rodell, summa cum laude. Laura Elizabeth Horn, magna cum laude. Caitlin Marie Morrison, magna cum laude. Justin Stott. Nathan Lozano. Joshua Lewis Conti. Andrew Connolly. <laughs> Raymond Russell Duffy. Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Arts, Morgan Renee Nutter. <laughs> Frankie Lynn Jean Retort. Shelby Lynn Stoner. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Music, Katherine Anna Kell. Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Politics, Ronald Edward Bell. <laughs> Richard V. Pazer. Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy and Theology, Mary Caitlin Kahn.
Bachelor of Science in Psychology, Michael Eugene Malone. Abel Solomon. Emily Nicole Neds. Gabrielle McKay Bricker. Angela Popovich, cum laude. Madison Ann Dean. Diego Alberto Marmolejos. Rachel Lynn McGough. Lena Carmela Stalker. Madison Weber, cum laude. Jacqueline Emery, cum laude. Owen Dean Schatz, summa cum laude. Jacob Ryan Holleran, magna cum laude. Brenna Nicole Valerini, cum laude. <laughs> Melanie Faye Knopfs. Mila Macy Kalsevic. <laughs> Kaylee Ann Bando. <laughs> Hua T. An Boy. Bachelor of Arts in Psychology Education, Carly Jane Wayne, summa cum laude. Sister Yen T. Hai Kao, magna cum laude. Sister Yosari Menhivar, magna cum laude.
Bachelor of Arts in Sports and Media. Ivan Etienne. Luke Andrew Mitch, magna cum laude. Sergio Joseph Bell. Brennan Anders Valadaris, summa cum laude. <laughs> Bachelor of Arts in Studio Art, Julia Elizabeth Mathias. Bachelor of Arts in Theology, Marissa Lennon Donaldson, summa cum laude. <laughs> Nicole Elise Buchik, summa cum laude. Bearcat Best, Building Excellence Through Skills Training is a transition into adulthood program which serves students who have developmental or intellectual disabilities by providing training in academics, independent living skills, social skills, and vocational skills, geared toward preparing the students for competitive employment and meaningful participation in their communities the Bearcat Best program at St. Vincent College recognizes these students who, as unique learners, are ready to make a meaningful contribution to society, and we acknowledge them today with a certificate of program completion. Caitlin Marie Brinton. Elena Marie Borger. <laughs> Abigail June Diviglia. Paul Matthew Fiesta. Brandon Allen Kalp. Cassidy Tegan Gallenbush. <laughs> now please join me in congratulating the 2023 graduates of the School of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences.
I now ask our graduates to stand and I ask Father Paul to come to the podium to officially confer the degrees that you have been awarded. By the authority of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, vested in the Board of Directors and Faculty of St. Vincent College, I confer upon each graduate the degree for which they have been recommended and certified with its accompanying rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Graduates are now welcome to move the tassel on their cap from the right side to the left. Thank you, Father Paul, and congratulations to our graduates. As part of a long standing tradition, it's my privilege to ask Cameron Hyde, president of the senior class, to come to the podium and speak on behalf of our graduates. It's noteworthy that Cameron is a four year member of the baseball team, belongs to Alpha, Lambda, Delta, and Chi Alpha Sigma and he's on the President's Athletics Conference Academic Honor Roll. Thank you, Dr. Delaney. Dear fellow graduates, faculty, staff, families, and friends, as senior class president, it is my great honor to speak to you all today. We are here today as graduates of St. Vincent College, prepared to enter the next phase of our lives. But before we look forward, let's take a moment to reflect on challenges we have faced and the memories we have made over the last four years at SVC. Coming into freshman year, our class was full of excitement and anxiety. Driving up behind Benny through the orientation committee tunnel was very nerve wracking for some people. I was one of those people since my car's brakes decided to give out making a loud screeching noise as I went through the tunnel, leaving me full of embarrassment on my very first day. Some of us were ready to enjoy our newfound freedom, while others struggled to let go of hugging their families. This was uncharted territory for everyone, but not for long, as our class began forming friendships through our pods, classes, sports teams, and clubs instantly. Everything was going great. The class was finding their footing and identity until the world came to a halt in the spring of freshman year. The pandemic was a very challenging and unknown period during our freshman and sophomore years. But as a class, we've shown incredible resilience, determination, and grace. We've supported each other, adapted to remote learning, and overcame challenges we never thought possible. And while the pandemic has affected us in different ways, we have still managed to make unforgettable memories whether it was having late night FaceTimes with your pod mates, playing bingo with Adam Ace, or going to pick up takeout lunches with your friends, we found ways to stay connected in a disconnected society. The pandemic has tested us in ways we could never have imagined, and yet we have persevered. As we move forward, let us remember the values that St. Vincent College has instilled in us, community, service, and compassion. And let us strive to make a positive impact on the daily lives of our peers, since these very values helped us to get through the toughest of times. As our time in SVC continued, 
the light to hope became brighter. We were able to become connected again in our junior year, as we once were when we first arrived. Throughout junior year, we saw the rejuvenation of campus. In-person events began being held again, and as well as athletics got back on track. This was the first time in nearly two years that we got to feel like normal college students again. With the return to normalcy, our class had nothing but ambitious excitement for our senior year. This past year has been by far the most exciting and meaningful year since we arrived on campus. This time saw different friend groups of the class come together as one in solidarity, allowing us to celebrate the community we have built through attending casino nights, sports events, and time spent hanging out in the dorms. Senior year enabled us to find our true selves and grow closer, forming lifelong bonds with our friends. I would now like to take a moment to personally reflect on my time at St. Vincent. As a baseball player, I have been fortunate enough to have made countless incredible memories on and off the field. The bonds I formed with my teammates on the field and in the locker room were ever remain close to my heart. My time as a baseball player taught me the importance of teamwork, perseverance, and hard work. These lessons extend beyond the field and are an exemplification of how our class acted during our time at SVC. But my memories at St. Vincent go beyond athletics. I will always cherish the time spent with my classmates, whether it was at the multiple casino nights, pod wars, homecoming, The Voice, or watching SV teams bring home championships. These experiences were more than just fun events. They were opportunities to strengthen friendships, make new connections, and create memories that will last a lifetime. These events and experiences are what make St. Vincent College so special. It's not just the classes we take or the degrees we earn, but it's the relationships we build and the memories we make that truly define our college experience and our true identities. I would like to take a moment now to thank the people who have helped us to get to this point. To our families, thank you for your love, support, and sacrifice. You have been our rock, and we could not have done this without you. Thank you for caring for and shaping us into whom we are today, even while having to put up with us through difficult times. None of our accomplishments would be remotely possible without your unconditional love and dedication to us. To our friends, thank you for your companionship, laughter, and encouragement. You have made our time at St. Vincent unforgettable. You have made our time. Thank you for all the support and motivation you gave us to enable us to keep going when things look bleak. I would not be standing here today without the love and support of my friends over the last four years at SVC. To our professors, thank you for your expertise, guidance, and inspiration. You have challenged us, taught us, and helped us to grow into the leaders we are today. Thank you for challenging us to critically think about important issues in society, and thank you for preparing us for the real world. To the staff and community members of St. Vincent, thank you for all the hard work you put in to, to make St. Vincent such a special place. Your efforts have given me the ability to call this community my second home, and none of that would be possible without you. As we look forward to what the future beholds, I would like to share with you some inspiring words from a few exceptional individuals. Arnold Palmer, a legendary athlete and humanitarian, once said, success in this game depends less on strength of body than strength of mind and character. This quote speaks to the importance of resilience, determination, and mental toughness. As we navigate the challenges of the world beyond St. Vincent, let us remember that our success will not only depend on our physical abilities, but also on our mental fortitude and our character. Let us always strive to embody the values of St. Vincent College, and let us remember that success is not just measured by our achievements, but also by the impact we leave on the world. Another inspirational athlete, Muhammad Ali, once said, service to others is the rent you pay for your room here on earth. These words remind us of the importance of giving back to our communities and making a positive impact on the people around us. As we move forward into the next chapter of our lives, let us not forget the importance of service. 
and let us aspire to make a, a difference in the lives of others. Maya Angelou, a renowned author and civil rights activist, once said, I've learned that people will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you made them feel. This quote speaks to the power of human connection and the importance of kindness and empathy. As we move ahead, let us always remember to treat others with compassion and respect as we set out to make everlasting impacts on the people around us. Lastly, I couldn't choose just one Fred Rogers quote, so I included two. First, Fred once said, you rarely have time for everything you want in this life, so you need to make choices. And hopefully your choices come from a deep sense of who you are. This quote reminds us that in life is full of choices and we should make them based on our values, priorities, and with a sense of purpose. As we embark on the next chapter of our lives, let us keep this wisdom in mind and choose wisely. Secondly, Fred once said, often when you think you're at the end of something, you're at the beginning of something else. These words remind us that even in our darkest moments, there is always a hope for a new beginning. As we move forward, let us remember that even when we face setbacks in life, there is always a new opportunity waiting behind the next door for us to explore. In closing, I want to express my utmost gratitude to St. Vincent College for providing us with a community that has supported us, challenged us, and helped us grow into the leaders we are today. Let us celebrate and cherish the memories we have made and the lifelong friendships we have formed. As we begin the next chapter of our story, let us remember one lessons we have learned here and let us strive to be a guiding light for innovation, creativity, and leadership. The future is bright. With our education, determination, and compassion, we can make a difference in this world. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you, Cameron. I'm going to make a comment out of order. I want to thank Cameron for his leadership and for each of you in this class for these last four years that have brought us together. But as noted, Cameron is on the baseball team. In 55 minutes, the Bearcats will take the field, take the to the diamond at WJ for the PAC championship game. And so I'd like all of us to take a moment in prayer, silent prayer for our Bearcats as they represent us in the championship. Once a Bearcat. Thank you, Cameron and Father Paul as well. Now that degrees have been conferred, I wish to invite St. Vincent Alumni Council President Ali Simmons to the podium to welcome the class of 2023 to our alumni ranks. Good afternoon, guests, family and friends, esteemed faculty and administration, and hello to the newest members of our honored alma mater's alumni association, the class of 2023. On behalf of the St. Vincent Alumni Council, many of our members who are here today cheering you on, I would like to officially welcome you to the alumni community and congratulate each of you on a job well done. As you've realized by now, St. Vincent is quite a special place. As alumni, we encourage you to carry your Bearcat distinction with great pride. Know that the community stretches far and wide and your sense of belonging to this institution will continue throughout your careers and your lives. As you begin your next chapters and seek guidance and encouragement, reach out to your fellow alum and watch in awe as this powerful network of Bearcats will come together for you for your lifetime. We look forward to seeing you at your first official homecoming in September, and we encourage you to be proactive and stay connected to your professors, your advisors, your mentors, your classmates, and your friends. 
Many of these people will be your lifelong friends. We're here for you today and always. Congratulations again, class of 2023, and welcome to the Bearcat Extended Family. Thank you, Allie. To conclude our program, I ask all to stand for the singing of our alma mater and to remain standing for the benediction and recessional. The benediction will be given by Father Maximilian Maxwell of the Order of St. Benedict, our Director of Campus Ministry. After the benediction, I ask the audience to remain in place while our platform party faculty and students process from the arena. Our graduates will be led from the arena by senior class president Cameron Hyde and student government association president Olivia Person. Following tradition, the graduates will proceed to Melvin Platz to ring the Ave Maria bell. After the ceremony, all are welcome for refreshments in the lower level of this building. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, during this holy season of Easter, we ask your blessing upon all graduates on their commencement from St. Vincent College. As they prepare to go forth with their degrees in hand, may they also carry within their hearts the mission of St. Vincent. The knowledge they have from their studies the heritage of Benedictine monasticism, and the love of values inherent in a liberal approach to life and learning. We pray that they may use these to bring solutions to the world, especially on life's unruly sea. May these, our graduates, continue to open their hearts to your love and guidance and see the value of all human life so that as to live out the Benedictine value of welcoming all as if they were Christ. May the Holy Spirit bless them with the wisdom and gratitude to appreciate the gift of this time and place in their lives. Bless our speaker, Bill Strickland, as well as his family and friends. Good Shepherd, bless our outstanding faculty, dedicated students, devoted alumni, selfless administration, staff, coaches, and mentors, our dedicated board members, and on this Mother's Day weekend, lovingly bless all mothers on their special weekend. Bless and sanctify all gathered today for commencement or watching online. Grant success to the work of their hands, the sweat of their brow, and the love of their hearts. We ask this prayer in the name of Jesus, your risen Son, and our Lord. Amen. 
May God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.